Hi, and welcome to Healy Fit with your instructor, Jen. For more, don't forget to subscribe, click like, or select notifications. Today, I have a Pilates practice for you that is going to focus on your glutes. So if you are ready to work your backside, come on down to your mat, sit back into child's pose, and we'll shift forward into plank. Go ahead, sit back onto the heels, and then you're going to jet forward into a kneeling plank. Go ahead, continue like that a few more. Sit back into child's pose, jet forward into your plank, and let's go again. Awesome, hold your kneeling plank, tuck your toes under. Let's lift one knee, the other knee, drop knee, other knee, and alternate. Good, up, up, down, down. Good, so we're shifting back into your plank on your toes, elevating the knees, keeping the shoulders spread across the back, keeping the belly drawn up and in, core braced. Good, fingers are spread out so you've got a strong foundation to push away from. Awesome, let's take it up and hold. Push back into downward facing dog, lift the heels, roll back into plank, push back, lift up into downward facing, roll through the heels, come back into plank. Awesome, so we're working with our ankle mobility, stretching into the calves and backside before we get into our work. Pushing back into downward facing, we're going to lift our right leg up to the sky and then thread it through knee through arms. Good, so coming back into three-legged and then pull the knee through the arms. Elevate, lift that leg all the way up, 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 up and then pull through, let's go again, lift, extend and then pull through into a nice stretch across the outer edge of the glute. Oh, not so quick, we're lifting the back leg up and down. Here's where we're gonna dive into the nitty gritty of the outer glute, outer thigh, and into our hip mobility. Go ahead, a few more of those back leg lifts. Hold this one up and circle through the hip, just small circles, bringing the knee up, down, and around. Awesome, bring those circles the other direction. And let's send that left leg all the way back. Push back into downward facing, lift the left leg up to the sky, and then thread it through back into plank. Three-legged dog into our plank crunch. Go ahead, so we're floating the knee up as high from the floor as we can as we bring the knee through the arms, the arms are pushing the floor away, spreading the shoulders across the back. Go ahead, length and extension. Flexion into the core, bring it down, hold it there. Let's bring that back leg up and down. So you're on your left forearm, right hand bracing you, looking out over the front edge of the mat or back towards that leg as you try to lift it as high off the mat as you can. Awesome, let's take those knee circles around, down and up. Awesome, trace the other direction. Good, so just changing the direction of those circles, pushing back as far as feels comfortable, lifting up as high as you can. Go ahead, then we send that leg back, come back into child's pose. Good, right where we began. Jetting forward into your plank, sitting back into downward facing. Good, arc up into plank, and then sit back. Let's do that two more times. Come into your plank, and then sit back into child's pose. Roll up into plank, hold, elevate, Extend left leg, lift up and down. Good, I want you to feel this one into the glute. Light outward turn of the toes, belly braced, eyes are looking out over the front edge of the mat, length into the neck, lots to think about. 
and we've got that campfire underneath the belly so we want to keep the abs pulled in and up now let's hold the leg up speaking of in and up and fold the back heel in towards the hip so the left heel working through hamstring and glute so we've got the isometric hold into the glute with elevation into the leg and we've got our hamstring working with heel flexion towards hip take it down and then press up good down and up heel presses good still keeping our form and function and stability into the upper body as we do our heel presses up to the sky awesome holding it up let's circle in through the hip good so now we're going into more range of motion versus where we were down on the floor just a moment ago good just going with whatever range of motion is feeling right for you and then taking it in the other direction just a few more almost there awesome tuck in back to your child's pose but not for long we jet up into plank go ahead sit back into child's pose and then exhale into your kneeling plank child's pose kneeling plank child's pose kneeling plank and hold awesome right leg back lift up and down into your leg lifts now you'll see here my left knee is behind my hip that's going to be a little bit more challenging if you want less intensity or less of a challenge you're going to tuck your knee under your hip good you can always come down to the forearms as well if this is bothersome for your wrists we're doing those hamstring curls here flexing heel towards hip Good. strengthening into the back of the thigh now hold that 90 degree angle tap the knee down to the floor and then kick the heel up to the sky God, working into that lower glute press and lift just lift up as high as feels right for you it's challenging but never inflicts any pain or strain into the muscle let's go into a circle Good. Pilates workouts should always feel good. We should leave our class feeling longer, stronger, with just that perfect amount of fatigue, knowing that we did something. Let's take those knee circles around the other way, circling into the hip. Good. Great for hip mobility, great for the glutes. Awesome almost there and done exhale all the way down to your mat hands under chin let's shake the hips out just a little bit waving the heels side to side settle in chin to hands we're going to lift the legs up and down good belly braced abs in tight length along the back of the knee try to stretch the toes all the way to the back of the room so you're trying to lift top of foot and then shin and then maybe the thigh comes off the ground as well good you'll feel this one from the low back to the mid down to the lower glutes good continue to stretch the toes all the way to the back wall add in that heel to hip flexion into your hamstrings right into your leg curls now the knees are still elevated from the mats we're still trying to bring the thighs up from the floor as you fold your heels in and then extend the legs out good keep going awesome next one is a bit of an illusion we're going to drop the knees to the floor and then lift them up so it's just a very small movement really working into the backside heel presses up to the sky so same as we did from all fours now working a little bit harder down from the floor this is great with one of those small balls or with a little bit of elevation but here we get a little bit less elevation go ahead roll onto one side into your side leg moves we're going to have our bottom hand cradling the head top hand in front of the abs and go into your side leg lift with pull 
Good, so I want you to activate along the inner thigh. Toes point up to the sky, light outward turn of the toes, and then pull the heel down to the floor. So I want you to feel a little bit outer thigh, and then I want you to feel the inner thigh pull the heel down to the mat. Go ahead, toes point and flex, length along the back of the knee. Try to get those legs as long as you can. Strength, and now that heel to heel. Good, so we're going to add in that hamstring flexion. Leg extends and then flexes in. Good, leg extension, pull and flex heel towards hip. Leg extension, fold heel to hip. Leg extension, fold heel to hip. So good. Awesome, so this one you're really gonna have to use that mind-muscle connection. Connect heel to heel. And we're gonna go into our clamshell with the bottom leg on the mat. Good, so really squeeze into the inner thigh and then push the top knee to the back wall. Good, so I want you to feel this outer thigh, outer glute. Challenge yourself to bring the knees into touch and then challenge yourself to push the knee to the back wall. Awesome. Good, feeling this one into that outer edge of the glute, into the outer thigh, maybe even into those lower obliques right above the hip line. Awesome, let's lift that top leg, heel up, heel down. Good, so just the top leg, lifting the heel into that rotation along the outer edge of the hip. Again, hitting that lower oblique line. Now from single to double, we're lifting both heels up and down. Good, so the legs are moving as one, knees are glued together, heels are glued together, toes are glued together, and we're just shifting both legs, heels off the mat, heels back down to the mat. Awesome, let's move into our clamshell from here with the heels up, so we're adding another level of intensity. Still squeezing knee to knee, still pushing top knee to the back wall. Awesome job, keep it going. Awesome, let's transition to the other side. All right, so now bottom hand cradles the head, top hand in front of your abs, reminding you to keep that core tight and pulled in. We're going to elevate the top leg and then pull that top heel down to the floor. So your side leg lift, length along the back of the leg from your hip all the way up to your toes. Flex the heel, pull it down to the mat. Elevate and depress. Go ahead, lift and lower. Little to no movement along the trunk. So we're just moving the leg independently of the upper body. Awesome, hold it up and just flex the heel down. Go ahead, so work into that hamstring. Leg extends and then pulls. Go ahead, toes point and flex. Go ahead, I want you to target the back of the thigh into the hamstrings. Go ahead, that little bump out right below the glutes. We're lifting and shaping along the backside of the thigh. Good, let's pull both heels in together, going into our clamshell. Good, easy option first. Push the knee to the back wall and then squeeze knee to the bottom leg. Bottom leg is still on the floor. I'm just working along the range of motion of our top hip, our top glute. Working into adduction and abduction. Fantastic, knee to knee. We're just lifting the top heel up and down. Good, so we're feeling that rotation into the outer edges of the glute, into the bottom levels of the oblique. And from single, now we add the other leg, heels up and down. 
Good, knee to knee, heel to heel, toe to toe, legs moving together as one. Good, and we're keeping the upper body stable as we twist those heels up off the floor, keeping the knees down to the mat. Awesome, holding both heels up, going into your clamshell open and squeeze. Good, push the top knee back and then squeeze both knees in together. Lift and release. Awesome, bring it open and shut, open, pull together. Awesome. All right, let's turn it over into a seated position. Fingertips are splayed, push the floor away, open along the chest, and then lift up into reverse tabletop. Go ahead, release back down into seated, lift up into a reverse tabletop. Go ahead, sitting back down, press through the heels, drive through the backside, Go ahead, putting everything together into one move here. So now we're feeling the hamstrings, we're feeling the glutes. They have a little bit of fatigue going on, but we're working hard for this last segment of our class. Awesome, hold it up. Let's slide the left leg out, lift and lower. Go ahead, so leg pull from reverse tabletop. Good, try to maintain stability and balance in that three-pegged stance and just lift and lower to your height, to your level. Extend the leg and pull to the mat. Lift and release. Awesome, bring it down. Let's stretch, reaching out to the toes on the left leg. One more deep breath. And then we're gonna release that left foot, come back, tuck both feet back in together, push the floor away, lift the hips up from the mat, open along the chest line, slide the right leg out, and we go into our leg pull. Go ahead, a light point into the toes, drive through that left heel, squeeze into the glutes, maintain your stability and your balance, you're almost there, you've got this. Push all the way out to the fingertips and release. Let's go ahead and reach out to the other leg here, stretching hamstring to glute all the way up into the low back on your right side now. Awesome, one more deep breath. And then bring it forward, both legs reach up to the sky. Exhale, extend to both feet. Press the backs of the knees towards the mat, look out over the toes or tuck your forehead down towards your thighs. Let's go ahead into the outer thigh and glute. Go ahead, hand around the thigh in that yoga position or just reaching to the thigh. Look over the back shoulder. Feel that twist along the obliques into the outer thigh and glute. Let's do the other leg, tuck it in, wrap around, twist, look over the back shoulder. Good, just showing a couple different hand positions you could utilize as you go into that outer thigh and glute twist. Coming back in through center. Let's get a comfortable seated position. Extend both arms up to the sky. Exhale, stretch along the back body for all of those reverse tabletops. Open up for all of your planks and then bring it in for your well-deserved hug. Thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate you. I hope you'll take a moment to like and subscribe to let me know you want more videos like this one. And until next time, you can always follow me on social at Healy Fit. Take care and be well.